this video, which I don't know, I'm going to say the most racist thing that I possibly can on this show. I am. You? Yeah. Because I don't know if this happens in the white community or the Hispanic community or the Latino community or any other community. I do know beyond a shadow of a doubt this happens in the black community. And oh, it is irritating. I'm a 31 year old woman. My daughter's eight years old and my niece is also eight years old. They're born just 10 days apart. Due to this, ever since they were little, my sister-in-law, who's 29, has always pushed for them to have a shared birthday party. When the girls were younger, like age one to four, we used to do shared birthday parties. But my husband and I realized that we were always the one to foot the bill for everything. Food, decorations, location, etc. The girls were also complete opposites. My daughter has always been more of a tomboy, while my niece is super girly. When my husband and I told my sister-in-law and my brother that we won't be doing the shared birthdays anymore, they were really upset and started a huge fight. They said that they can't afford to throw a nice birthday for my niece, but we can, so it makes sense that we pay for it since we're family. Yeah, that is not going to fly with my husband and I. So we stuck by what we said, and ever since then, the girls have had separate birthdays. My daughter and my husband love watching Formula One together, and she wanted to have a Formula One themed birthday this year. This weekend, before the birthday, we had a family dinner at my parents' house. My sister-in-law, my brother, and my niece were present. My parents were asking the girls if they were excited for their upcoming birthdays and if they were having birthday parties this year. My daughter told my parents that she's having a Formula One themed party this year. My sister-in-law answered for my niece and said they're not going to have a party for her because things were tight. The conversation was left there. Fast forward to this past weekend. We had a party and it was going great. The whole family was invited as usual and everyone was having a great time until the cake. I'm in the kitchen with my mom, mother-in-law, sister-in-law, and a few other family friends talking. I pull the cake out to get it ready and bring out for everyone. My sister-in-law looks at the cake and looks confused. Is this the girl's birthday cake? She asks. I say, what do you mean the girl's? This cake is for my daughter. Well, I thought that since I mentioned that things are tight this year, that you would include my daughter in the birthday celebration. I understand your situation, but why did you never mention this to me? Well, I thought it would be common sense. Now, my daughter isn't going to have any kind of celebration for her birthday this year because you and your husband are so selfish. She then stormed out of the kitchen, made a huge scene at the party outside, yelling to her husband and my niece that it's time to go, and left. Since then, she's been messaging me and my husband nonstop, trying to make us feel guilty that my niece isn't going to have a birthday party and calling us all kinds of names. I feel bad that my niece isn't going to get a birthday party. Am I the bad guy for not including her, even though they can't afford it? Boy, this happens a lot. <laughs> I told you. It happens a lot. I can only speak for him. In my experience in the black community, this happens so much. But she, you... In the poor okay. community, it happens. Yeah, it does it, across colors. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, we never. I never heard of it because I'm like this. Definitely, definitely, definitely happens. But this is sad. I'm like, you can throw your child a break. It doesn't have to be a super expensive thing. Part you bake a cake, you put it in the oven, put some icing on it, put some candles. Has some people over. Nobody's going to remember the food anyway. You're just together. Stop. Stop. She doesn't have to include your niece. I would include the niece, but not invite the parents. I don't know if you can do that. Be like, look, you can come, but they, they got to stay. They got to stay away. I don't know how that works or if it could work, but I would try it. <laughs> oh. It's an age, but... Uh, How are you going to sit there and show up at the girl's birthday party 
Well, my niece's name, my daughter's name's not on the cake. It's not your daughter's birthday. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, it, it is. This is true pettiness. This is. Yeah, that sister law is petty. She petty in a bad way. And she's not taking responsibility. Yeah, because you, like I said, you don't have to throw a super duper expensive birthday party. Exactly. You can get, you can go to Aldi's and kick cake mix for ninety nine cents, three eggs, some ice cream. Mm -hmm. You're done. Really, mall and share parties are cultural, is communal and economic. Ours are super high. That this is not a black family. Just saying. Oh, I'm not even saying that this is a black family. I'm just, I'm just telling you from my spirit. I have seen this way too many times. But I'm going to give you an example. Just so happy. This is about the most coincidental coincidence that I have ever seen in my life. Because I already knew I was putting this on the show. We got a coinky dink. Okay. It's a coinky dink, but it's okay. a strong coinky dink, though. My daughter, bless her heart, cannot have a small party. It's just not in her DNA. Love her to death. She just can't have it. Either for herself or for her daughter or for my mama, whatever or for my mama, for her mother. She mm -hmm. can't have something small and eloquent. No, it got to be balloons and party bags yeah, yeah. and cookouts and big wide open area and food galore, even if it's hamburgers and hot dogs, it's 40 pounds of each and blah 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 and everything else. Funny thing about it is I can't hate her on it because. None of the money is coming out of my pocket. She does it on her own. She just can't mm -hmm. do anything small. So we're at a park where this is going on. Party bags, games, um, all the festivities. Just all out. Music, the whole thing. I walk to the car. I'm walking back to the car from the park to smoke my cigar, you know, and get away from the crowd a little bit. And I walk past a balloon, there was a single, uh, what you call it, uh, bench, bench, a table and bench. Oh, it was a single table of bitches with a one happy birthday balloon floating from it. And there were people around that table with pizza. It was like four of them. Four of them <laughs> and a kid or something like that that was eating pizza and everything else. They're celebrating somebody's birthday. I never could figure out who it was. But I think it was a kid. Be honest with you, I think it was a little kid's birthday. Yeah, because they had pizza. I mean, And they were celebrating this little kid's pizza birthday at that one single table. You're full of crap if you figure that every birthday has to be blown out. And the funny thing about it is you think it has to be blown out because none of the money is coming out of your pocket. So, yeah, you full of it. By the way, being the people that I am, a couple of those gift bags that my daughter made up for the kids mm -hmm. went to that kid. Happy birthday, kid. Oh, good for you. So, yeah, it's real easy to be upset when somebody don't include you is something that you're not going to lose absolutely nothing out of. I know times are tough. I get it. But that's why I'm telling you the story that I'm telling you now. You can still celebrate the birth of somebody without having to go all out. Or in debt. Or in debt. Right. Or make somebody else go in debt for but you. She showed up at the sister. The sister-in-law showed up at the park. Where's my daughter's name? Girl, if you don't sit yourself down. The other thing is, mm -hmm. the other thing that I know that you're full of crap, because I hate this. I had to teach my children to not do this. This is one of my pet peeves in life. In life. Mm -hmm. Do not hint to me. If you ever want to see me get you cussed out by me, don't hint something to me. 
And then when you don't out. get it, you upset. I will totally lose it. Like I would on this woman. Well, obviously, if I told you that I'm broke, then that means now I don't give a rat's. You be, that could have meant you couldn't pay your light bill. That means you couldn't pay for food. There ain't no damn hit to tell me that I need to pay for you and your child's birthday party. Uh, Number it's... three, and the most final thing that I'm going to say, and then we're going to move on. Number three, I got to take care of my child. I've been doing this for four you know, years. What you don't want to do is like, Put it in their face, like ha 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 ha. We threw a bad apart. Don't don't do that. No, don't do that because that that's trifling. Don't do that. Do not do that. Nothing should be done to make the other child feel at that's all right. uncomfortable. Right, and you are. And I the guess, mother is doing everything to make her child uncomfortable because you're literally you. you're literally sitting there telling you. You're telling your child without flat out telling your child, let me rephrase it because you may actually did tell your child exactly this. You had a bad birthday party because of your aunt. No, she didn't have any birthday party. You're right. Sorry, you're right. You're right. You didn't have any birthday party because of your aunt. It's your aunt's fault. And that like child's going to grow up and realize uh, I'm not my aunt's child. Mm. It wasn't her responsibility to throw a party for me. That was your responsibility. Is it really a responsibility yeah. for a parent to throw a party? No, it, it, it is once you decide that you're going to have one. If you decide yeah, that you're going to have a party. Up, I mean, I literally had one birthday party like from zero to 18. I think I had one birthday party total. Did you like or want birthday parties? Yeah. No, my birthdays never go good. My birthday is just like always something like, okay, what's going to happen this year? What's going to happen this mm -hmm. year? Really, nine. Then then once I hit my like 35, that's when I start throwing them for myself. I just, cel I just celebrate myself. I do mm -hmm. what I want to do on my birthday. And I always say the same thing. I did it last year i think i did it last year i don't think i did it this year but i think i did it last year when i said i'm gonna be a such and such do a such and such you're happy to join so if you come cool if you don't come cool now funny thing about it every damn body that mama came so i wasn't prepared for that but still <laughs> oh and by the way they tried to be funny about it because that's what i was turning 50 yeah it was last mm -hmm. year because that was the year i turned 50. So everybody showed up in a gray-haired wig and a cane, and they're all like, "See, that's not funny. See, that's that, not see, funny. see, as a person that has gray hair, let me tell y'all something. Do that to me. I'm gonna hurt your feelings so bad. Oh God, I missed the whole joke. I'm so sorry. I was so out of it. I missed the whole joke, and then when I finally realized, I went, "Oh, y'all trying to be funny." And by the way, to the family, which which is thought that was so funny to do. Guess who? My brother in law's fiftieth birthday is next month. Let's go ahead and keep the ha ha's going. Don't do it. Don't do that. Like, don't no. do it. Because what if the person is naturally gray? Be, be a... but like me. Oh, You're man. not naturally gray. I'm naturally gray. I've had gray hair since elementary school. Okay, uh, having a couple of gray. Th this no, it was a couple. No. Yeah, Look there's a thank you, Anna. There's a huge difference between huge me difference. And you. Yeah. If your brother-in-law has more gray hair than you, don't do that. <laughs> don't. No. Um, LOL, they're looking at women didn't show up at your party with a tub of cake icing, and as soon as one was, as soon as no one was in the kitchen, the woman didn't add her. Oh, yeah, wow, I, I could see that people happening. People I can see her doing that too. I mm -hmm. apologize for people that listening because I got to remember that people are listening and not watching. LOL, they're lucky the woman didn't show up at their party with a tub of ice, a tub I of see. icing. And as soon as no one was in the kitchen, the woman didn't add her daughter's name to the party. I asked that's a fight. 
Mm -hmm. That's a literal fight. That's that a is fight. a that's a that's literal it. Fight. You, me, outside now. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, but don't that's do that because the then you want you can't teach your children not to fight if you got their fight. I ain't got the, I ain't, this ain't no teach them all. You, know? you uh, me, outside so I, now. This I ain't, I'm not in no mood for teaching. I celebrate for the entire birth of mother, and and I'm a part of mother heart. Mm -hmm. I have a story where somebody's just discovered my birthday month and they lost their mind. What the living hell is a birthday month? Who celebrates their birthday the whole month? I don't do it because I January it is cold and I'm not trying to do something from January 1st at the 31st. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we do family birthday parties, kids having complaints. Right. Because the funny thing about it is you're doing what the kids want to do. That, so, this is surprising. This may surprise somebody, so pay real close attention to what I'm finna say. Some kids don't want no effing party. Sure don't. They just don't. Some kids want to go out and eat at their favorite restaurant. Some people like to go and go to their favorite, I'm not going to say arcade, but there's still some go-kart places, and they like to go and do things like that, or their favorite amusement park. Or things like that. Or, hey, as, as silly as it is, can you buy me my favorite video game and leave me alone for the next eight hours? And I could just see. There are plenty of her first thing. There are so many things that kids want, and you're trying to do for the kids. You're trying to sit here and say you're doing it for the kids' experience. Eh, they ain't going to remember because I don't remember. I'm, I'm 51 years old. I don't remember my eighth and ninth. Not really. I don't remember any of my I birthday. I can parties. remember my ninth I birthday do. like it was I don't. yesterday. I can tell you what happened. I can tell you what I had. I can tell you why I was dressed. Really? I can yeah. tell you what happened. Hey, I forgot to start at nine. LOL. I got it mixed up, mixed up all the time. I know. I know. Hey, I know you meant eight o'clock. Hey, baby boy, my the, the deal, uh, Hey, Parker, the deal is if you're new to the show and you're listening, I used to have this show at 9 o'clock. Then I discovered people got to go to work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we need to start a little bit earlier. Plus, now that we can is, talk. that's being nice. Let's go analytical. Analytical 9 o'clock on a Sunday wasn't working. There was very few people. Nope, because that, that was football night in America, and that wasn't happening. Yeah. So, okay. So let's move on. Wait a minute. I said I was gonna take a pause. Oh no, not wait. There's more. No, I, no, no. I <laughs> do. I love birthday celebrations for however long you feel you want to celebrate yourself. Yeah. And for yep. my um, half a century, dang, them years go by fast. He's like, oh. Yeah. Anyway, hmm. next story. I'm going to explain to you what Stolen Valor is. So, mo so some people may not know what Stolen Valor is. Hmm. Stolen Valor is people who haven't been in the military. But they portray to civilians that they have been in the military, and even at worst, they pretend like that I was in this war or I fought for this special forces, regardless of what it is the SEALs, the um paratroopers, whatever. I have this medal of honor, I have that is stolen value, uh, valor. But Did me, George Santos say that he was in like Seal Six, uh, Team no, Six? The closest or he got to being a, the closest he got to being a hero, so to speak, was that he was there during nine eleven. No, his mother died in uh, in yeah, Oh, his towers. mother died in a lot of other. No, that there was a politician that ran for mm -hmm. office. It, he was a Republican, and they found out he didn't, he said he served in the Iraq or Afghan, whichever one. And okay. found out he did he wasn't even on kitchen duty. He got rejected from the military. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. That, that's another thing. 
not only for the people who was in the mil that wasn't never in the military, but people who was in the military will also can use uh, stolen val valor too. You could be working in the motor pool, which is a mechanic. However, because you um, fix the Jeep that the SEAL, SEAL Team 6 used, now you're a SEAL. You, know, you work near the SEALs and everything. That's stolen val valor. I am so determined to use value, and that's not the freaking word, Marlon. Valor. My oh. nan, my my mother's mother, she, um, I, I hear Lorraine laughing. She, um, she told everybody that she was a nurse in World War II. She did serve in World War II. She was in the Women's Auxiliary Royal Air Force, but she cooked. She actually was a part of a, an incredible movement because in World War I, they found out that they lost so many people to malnutrition that they really needed to step up their game. So England went around, um, or the UK went around and tried to grab all their best cooks. My nan happened to be one of them. She could look in her fridge, pick out the weirdest little ingredients and make something delicious and healthy. And so she actually made a huge contribution but for some reason, saying that I cooked in the war, it, it wasn't the same. It will not hit the same way. And I'm going to tell you why, Anna. Because you, you would have to explain that story that way. Yeah, exactly. Because all they're going to hear is cook. They don't understand that the importance of like the they're cooking. supposed to fight wars on an empty stump. Okay, just go out there. We don't care. What? Well, it wasn't for the fact that they wasn't eating. Wasn't for the fact it was the fact that they wasn't, it wasn't nutritious, right? But even you, if it was nutritious, eat. so she could and you could get full off rice. But we that need to stop. Going, um, yeah, but we need to stop doing that. Think about it. I mean, people lie, even outside the military, lie about their careers. Yeah, like stop it. Be proud of what you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If it's no, answering no. the phones, cleaning somebody's house.